Hi, how's it going everyone? My name is Hank and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can earn some passive income using Binance Earn. Now, passive income has become such a uh, buzzword these days, especially since a lot of people are um, losing their jobs or even getting new jobs. And everyone wants a bit of that passive income. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can use your cryptocurrencies to earn some passive income. And one of the big problems that people have with uh, crypto is that they say that crypto doesn't hold any inherent value. So unlike holding stock options for a, a company where you can get some dividends, or if you hold uh, a rental uh, property and you can receive some cash flow from uh, the rent that you collect, uh, they're saying that cryptocurrency doesn't really have that. And this is where we turn to Binance Earn. So after setting up your Binance account, uh, you can navigate to uh, Binance Earn and Binance Earn provides you with many different methods to earn passive income. You can open a uh, crypto savings account, uh, either for flexible or a fixed term. Uh, you can do lock staking. You can participate in launch pool and do uh, liquidity swaps and um, using many other methods to uh, earn some uh, passive income. I'm going to go through these different methods of earning passive income and I'm going to start from the least risky, most flexible method to the highest risk and potentially most rewarding method. And I'll give you my uh, quick view on whether I would recommend using that particular method or not. So let's hop onto the Binance app on the mobile phone. The first few earning options are the uh, flexible terms where you can subscribe whenever you want and redeem any time. So the first thing here is flexible savings. So if we go to the more menu and scroll down and find the uh, earn tab and there where we find uh, savings. And then we can look at all the uh, flexible savings that are on offer at the moment. So if we look at uh, BUSD, currently they have a 7% APY rate. If we click on more detail, we can see that for, if you have zero to 500 uh, BUSD, you'll get 7% return for that amount. And if you have more than that, you get 7% for the first 500. And after that, from uh, 500 to 20,000 BUSD, you will get a 1% return. So the good thing about flexible uh, savings account is that there is no minimum uh, investment amount and it's, there's no fees. And the API is a dynamic API, which means that these API are subject to change and usually range from 0.5% to uh, 15%. The rewards are distributed into your account daily. And this is a pretty uh, low risk investment because your capitals are guaranteed. The second option is the BNB Vault. So the BNB Vault is also found in the Earn tab and it basically uses any unused uh, Binance coin and they kind of pull it into a aggregate uh, rewards account so that they put the Binance coin into savings and also some of it into a different launch pool. So you can get rewards from uh, both of those. So the good thing about that is there's no minimum uh, investment amount required and there's zero fees, uh, also a dynamic APY. So depending on the savings, you get different rewards for savings and you get uh, different rewards for participating in the launch pool. And the distribution happens daily into your spot wallet as well. Uh, but one of the main thing is that it's basically a one-stop shop for investing your Binance coins. The third option here is the launch pad, which is also formally known as the launch pool. So here is where Binance launched some of the uh, newest tokens that are going to be available on their platform. And in exchange, you can stake some of your uh, BUSD or even uh, different cryptocurrencies or some Binance coins and earn an API of the new token that's being launched. The minimum investment required uh, depends on the individual launch pool offers and usually there's no fees associated with that and the API changes depending on what you use to stake for the uh, launch pool itself. The launch pool can have a pretty high API with some of the past projects uh, giving up to 100% APY. 
For the distribution of interest, you have to manually redeem whatever you earn within the uh, launch pool. And uh, risk level is pretty low because you are guaranteed your uh, initial investment amount. Let's now take a look at some of the fixed term accounts, which is where you lock your assets and then you can get a bit higher yields. So the first one we look at here is the fixed savings account. So if we go back to savings and here we can look at the locked savings account. So here again, you can see all sorts of different uh, savings account on offer with lots of different tokens. The difference here is that you have to lock your tokens for a specific amount of time. So for example, if I want to lock my AXS, I can lock it in for seven days at 25% interest rate, or I can lock it in for 15 days at 15% interest rate. Usually there's a fixed amount that you will need to invest and it depends on the token that you're investing in. Uh, fees for these are usually zero and they have a variable uh, APY from 25% to some of the higher ones that can get up to more than 40%. The next thing is a locked staking. So if we go to the stakings tab, here we can see that there are many uh, coins or tokens that you can lock for a particular duration. For example, 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and you'll get a different uh, interest rate depending on how long that you lock these uh, tokens for. So staking basically means that you are providing your tokens for a certain blockchains that require proof of stake operations to help the uh, network function properly. So in return, you get paid out uh, tokens at a high interest rate. One of the main things that it has to be a blockchain that requires proof of stake, which means that a uh, Bitcoin you can't stake, uh, Ethereum 1.0 you can't stake, but you can stake uh, cryptocurrencies such as Cardano, Solana and Polygon and many, many others. Another thing to note is that if you redeem your stake token before the uh, fixed period, you lose your interest. So here, if I want to lock some Cardano, I can look for uh, Cardano, which is ADA, and I can look for, uh, if I want to lock them for 30 days, I would get a 7.7% interest rate. The next thing here is activities. So to find activities, we actually have to go to savings and go to locked and there we can find activities. Now activities just means that uh, you earn extra rewards for doing certain tasks such as staking or saving crypto. So Binance occasionally offers you uh, special rewards for savings products or uh, staking products. Usually there is a time limit uh, to carry out these particular activities. So at the moment, most of these uh, activities have already ended, so you can't subscribe to them anymore. Fees for participating in these activities are usually zero, and the API is usually fixed and already stated on the uh, actual activities page. And distribution is periodical, but it depends on the activity that you participate in. And there's pretty much no risk to uh, participating in activities because you still keep your original invested amount. Next method to earn some passive income is through Ethereum 2.0 staking. So the original Ethereum network is operated as a proof of work network and they are moving towards Ethereum 2.0, which is a proof of stake network that serves to improve the uh, stability, uh, the speed and the efficiency of the Ethereum network. So currently you can stake your Ethereum and Binance will convert it into a BETH token and then it'll give you a yield uh, depending on the uh, amount of people that actually uh, stake Ethereum on the platform. The amount of interest that you get will actually change depending on the number of people that participate in the uh, Ethereum staking. Now, if there are more people that are staking, you would en end up getting uh, less amount of interest. When you convert your ETH into BETH, you can't actually uh, get your uh, ETH back straight away until the uh, first phase of the uh, swapping to Ethereum 2.0 is complete, but you can still trade your BETH, same as how you would trade ETH. Currently staking for Ethereum 2.0 has a 5.2% APY. Now let's take a look at some of the high risk uh, accounts that could potentially maximize your earnings. 
The first one that we're going to look at is the DeFi staking. So DeFi staking also stands for decentralized finance staking. So we have to go to the uh, staking tab and go to staking. So this is where Binance allows users to participate in selected DeFi projects and stake your cryptocurrency for those projects in order to earn some interest. Now, this is very similar to your normal lock staking, except here the staking is used for uh, DeFi projects. The main advantage of this is that you don't need to manage your personal private keys uh, to enter into these DeFi projects. The disadvantage of this is that there's more risk involved for these uh, DeFi staking if the DeFi services are hacked or attacked. So there are many uh, DeFi projects out there in on Binance. So you can just scroll through and decide what you would like to uh, stake your cryptocurrency in. Next up, we have dual investment. So let's go to the dual investment tab. So for dual investment, uh, I want to create a separate video on just talking about dual investment itself. But uh, you can think of it as a kind of like options trading with stocks where you can limit your potential upside, but also reduce your potential downside while earning an interest while doing it. There's a couple of different cryptos that you can use. You can use uh, BTC, you can use USDT and BUSD. Depending on the option that you choose. So for example, if I choose to deposit Bitcoin at a 24.47% rate with a $40,000 strike price at a set date, if I go there and let's say hypothetically, if I have one BTC to deposit, when the final settlement price is above $40,000 at the uh, finish date, you would receive 40,286 BUSD. And if the final settlement price is lower than $40,000, you will receive 1.0067 uh, BTC, uh, which is your BTC plus your interest. Now this can be used if you think the uh, market is going to be very choppy and it will be trading sideways without uh, really going up and down in either direction. This is definitely a more of an advanced option to use and you may not end up earning more than if you just hold on to the uh, Bitcoin itself. Next up we have Binance Liquid Swap. So we can go to liquidity farming and then we can go to uh, liquidity. So this is where you can provide a liquidity for trading pairs of cryptocurrencies on the uh, Binance network. So a lot of times you actually want to have both of the trading pairs. So for example, if I want to have Binance coin, most of the time it's quite good to have both of the coins that you are providing liquidity for. For example, in this situation, I selected a Binance coin and BUSD uh, pair. And when you have both of the coins, you will not get charged extra fees for converting um, your coins into the the other pair. So what you will get for providing liquidity for the uh, coin pairs is that you will get a percentage of the fees and sometimes a reward for providing the uh, trading pairs. This is more of a risky strategy because sometimes your coin may be force swapped into another coin. For most people that are getting into earning passive income on Binance, I would definitely recommend a flexible and or savings account along with some locked staking, because in that way you will always get to keep your uh, principal uh, without actually risking your initial capital. So that's a lot of ways of earning passive income on Binance. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.